Hi everyone. Uh, in this uh, video here, I'm going to explain how to add an author bio inside of a post um, in WordPress. A lot of times, themes or even plugins will add the author bio for you, um, and there might be an option um, in the themes, the theme options, to turn that on. But if it doesn't exist for your for your theme and you want to add it, um, for example, this theme here doesn't have it. So just below, this is the post here. So just below the post, right, um, right above the edit this post, I want to insert um, the author bio. And we're, it pulls the author bio for, right from the profile information that's set up for this particular author. And so what we can do to make that happen, we can add a function um, to the themes uh, function file. So when, if you go to appearance editor, and I'll provide the code too. I'll um, I'll put it in the text file just so you can download it. And scroll down until you find the theme functions file. And this is where you're able to put any custom functions that you want included. So for this example, I have it on the clipboard here, so I'll paste it in. Here it is here. And I named it author bio. And just to make sure it doesn't conflict with any other functions from any other th theme from the theme you're running or any plugins that you have running. Um, you can apply a unique prefix, and just make sure that if you change this, you change it um, in every in every instance. So it'll be up here, and down here. Okay. So here's the actual function here, and basically what it does is just checks and sees it, um, make sure that it's only executing on the single page, so on a post page, and and what it does is um, this one in particular. You can you can change it up. Um, it fills this variable here with um, information. So in this case, it's going to be um, the name of the author, and it's going to get the avatar. And what that is, if you have if you set up gravatar uh, a gravatar at gravatar.com, what it'll do is match the email address from gravatar with the email address for this, for the particular user um, for the author. Of this um, of the article, so that it's going to display that image there, a 90 by 90 pixel image, and then it's also going to put in the description, which is the author bio essentially. And this command here, um, if there's like new lines within the within the description, like if, um, if there's white space, if somebody hit enter within the uh, when when they're creating their bio. This just makes sure this command here makes sure that it converts those new line characters into breaks into HTML BR tags, essentially. So that's what that does. And this command down here takes a look at the content and makes sure that it executes this function, which displays the bio, just after the the content is displayed on the post page. And then just in case, like um, a lot of times there's the HTML is disabled in the user description. So this command will, will make sure that um, if there is any HTML in the description, if you show it, if you want it, um, this command will make sure that it, the HTML gets displayed too. That way if there's any links or anything within the, uh, within the description. So that's it there. I'm going to click on update. So now when we go back to the post, click on refresh, now it's going to insert a bio in there. And like I said, the bio, you could put any, there's um, different way, There's different values you can put in here. I only took three. I took the uh, image, the name, and then the description. And it gets that information from the profile. So if you click on users, your profile, or all users, and then just click on edit for the user you want to work with. And then you can fill in the information there. So the biographical info is with um, the user description. That's where it pulls the user description from, which is the most important part. But you can also have it pull in the web a website address if it exists, or an email address, or um, or any other value that's within here. Okay, and then by default, the gravatar will just be sitting there. I, I had it so it floats left. And to do that, I just added um, a custom style um, for the avatar class. 
And most themes will have uh, custom. Right near the bottom, you'll see styles, and there's probably going to be a custom one, but there isn't always. So um, for sure, you'll see a style.css. So you can click that and add it in there. But if there's a custom one, that's a good spot to add it. That way, if you update the theme, it doesn't overwrite any of your custom CSS changes. So anyway, I just made it so that particular image floats left, and then it has a little bit of a margin on it so that the text isn't touching it. So I'll provide this code as well if you're interested. And then it displays this. It's as simple as that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.